I want to do another quick video. Uh, a lot of these are going to be quick videos. Got to let you know now. Uh, because there's so much stuff that's racing by and it's racing and it's racing by. So I'm going to try and cover it all. And it's hard to do, man. You know, I got other stuff to do. I do have a job. I do like to garden. That takes a lot of time. You know, do a little bit of working out and stuff. Try and stay healthy. Cook my own food. But anyways, enough about me. A lot of these short, uh, videos are going to be short. Just throw stuff at you. Now, you might have heard of robot cars. Now, a lot of people are asleep. Or they just haven't been awakened. Could be the same thing. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and try and nudge you and see if I can wake you up. I'll give you a little nudge. Uh, just maybe wake you up even more. And you know what? Shout me out a comment. Try to wake me up a little bit more. I would, I would really appreciate it. Uh, people might be under, uh, they might already know that, um, robot cars are being put on the highway. Now, this has been talked about for decades by people who are terrified about it. And for very good reason. Um, so robot cars are hitting the highway and we're allowing it. That's terrible. That's freaking terrible, horrible. Um, but we're allowing it. And so, you know, pretty much... It's not going to be too long before that shit's ubiquitous. And we're looking a lot like motherfucking Demolition Man, if you ever seen Demolition Man. Or pretty much a lot of damn sci-fi movies. Books. Uh, so, as they become ubiquitous, you got to understand, uh, as poverty goes lower and stuff, you're going to have more people speaking out, and more people thinking, hey, damn, what the fuck, we're being all fucked over and raped uh, by the government. So we need to uh, maybe do something about that. And, and the government, see, they'll allow a certain amount of people, but once it gets too much, they're going to go ahead and make a trim. They're going to trim you down a little bit. This is going to keep you under control. Gives you the illusion that you have free will and free speech and things like that. When you really don't, you, they'll trim you down. They'll trim you down. Now, as, a, you know, this sort of pre-crime and, you know, political dissent uh, increases, which is just, I mean, inevitable because it's all fucked up. Um, as this happens, they're going to trim you down. And see, they want to make it look like that it's not back in the mob days when they just shot you up and stuff or whatnot. They want to make it seem like they had nothing, nothing to do with it. All right. So, you know, a lot of times, they'll, you know, they have certain uh, powders and stuff that they could just blow in your face. And then, you know, a few minutes later, you're going to have a heart attack. It's going to look like you just had a heart attack. Nobody can explain it. Well, it's because they blew powder up in your face. That's what happened. Uh, but these are, that's just one example of many different ways that they try to kill you, make it look like, you know, they had nothing to do with it. One of the best ways now, because they're going to be able to track your every movement, which they pretty much already do, and my movement as well, uh, is go ahead and make you just have a car accident, man. If you don't like what you're saying, man, oh, man, he got in a crazy car accident. God dang it. You don't like what he was saying. That's terrible. He probably couldn't drive too good and whatnot. And of course, when it when it comes out, it's obvious that it's the robot's fault. The robot actually got hacked into, and they typed in a little couple numbers in your damn system, made you go ahead and crash yourself off the cliff. Uh, they'd be like, "Man, this guy, God, I don't know what happened." Uh, the robot car tried to even help him get back on the road, but he kept driving off the road himself personally. And it's not the machine's fault. It was not the machine's fault. Not the robot's fault. So remember that. We're keeping us safe. I don't know this guy. He was just, he was drunk. He was drunk all sorts of ways. And so that's why he, I, he drew off the cliff. And also, you know, the robot tried to stop him from doing it, but it couldn't even stop him. It was crazy. Um, so that's how people are going to die. And they're going to die many, many sort of ways. So that's why you might should be paranoid of people surveilling you and wanting to surveil you all the time. And things like that. And giving you robot cars to make you pretty much uh, be dead whenever they want you to. It's August 1st, 2015.